Start the happy hour early at 11 a.m. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, All right, Leah Freeman <laughs> joining us now. And uh, Leah, rain today, just as you predicted. Mm -hmm. Talking the heat, and today we're talking, yes, the rain out there. We still got to 103 for our high, but for most of the afternoon, we actually saw our temperature in the 90s. A lot of those clouds really kept our temperatures a little bit lower. And what they did was help our low temperature get to 86. That is much higher than the normal of 71. So we started off the day fairly warm, and it gave us a little bit of a head start. But overall, we're still seeing those temperatures a little bit cooler than this time yesterday and that's all thanks to the rain and the clouds that we've been seeing for a day today so much less 100s out here was we are at 102 though right now for Bakersfield 96 in oil Dale as well as Taft down towards the south 93 at the grapevine Pine Mountain Club a nice cool 65 over to Tehachapi at 84 and up towards the Kern River Valley area hanging out in the 90s 103 for Ridgecrest so another warm spot there but overall the clouds are pretty much stuck through the region today and then you see that monsoonal flow that's been moving uh, northwest through the region here here, bringing some pockets of heavier rain in some spots, but really not much measurable rain. Not, not a lot of this is actually making it to the ground. A lot of it's evaporating before it makes it to the ground, and that's why we have not seen any measurable rain at the airport, which is the uh, official number for Bakersfield. So overall, we uh, are still hanging on here with the uh, 100s, even warm off to the coast, 70s and 80s. So the heat playing a part. The reason why we have the, this rigid high pressure right over the west coast here, and it's allowing a lot of that monsoonal moisture to be wrapped around it. Also, this uh, area of low pressure offshore and you can see that's directing a lot of moisture up through the region as well. So both of these guys helping to uh, give us a little bit more moisture and that'll continue into Thursday as well as Friday tomorrow morning starting the clouds once again and then by the afternoon it's going to look very similar to what we were seeing today with those thunderstorms and chance for showers up in the mountains. The eastern portion of the county could see some heavier rain at times as well. So keep in mind there could be the concern for some flash flooding even some dry lightning if a lot of this still does evaporate like what, what we're seeing today. But that system going to continue to move towards the north next Next couple of days and by Friday, Saturday, it'll bring in a southwest flow, which means our temperatures are going to be well staying the same, but it's going to be a little drier as we head into uh, our weekend here. So in terms of the next seven days, here's a look at those numbers staying in 100 in the 100. So heat wave number three continues, but at least we're drier Friday and Saturday. But keep in mind tomorrow, very similar to today, drying out Friday, Saturday. Yeah, so more rain possibly more tomorrow. More humid, more chance for some. Yeah. yeah, all right. Thanks, Lamb.